this video, I'm going to show you how a pro FIFA player starts FIFA 23. I'm going to show you everything I've done in the first week and show you why I've done it and also my thought process behind it. And hopefully you can pick up a few tips and decide what you're going to do to improve your game. Now coming in at number one, the very first thing I do is put FIFA points on the game. It's something that seems to be required at the pro level. You see all of us using unbelievable cards. And if you don't put FIFA points on, you're probably at a little bit of a disadvantage. So what do I do with these FIFA points? I open them with packs mainly, but I also spend them on draft as well. Now my tip to you is if you are gonna put FIFA points on, use it on draft. If you fancy yourself as a decent player and you think you can get a few results, draft is 10 times more value for money than just opening 7.5k packs. As you can see in my previous video, they were pretty terrible for how much I opened. So if you're not gonna put too many points on, make sure you do it on draft because they will always pay out better rewards. For me, I think it is essential that you open your FIFA points as soon as possible. The longer the game goes on, when Weekend League comes in, when all the rivals are all start coming in, your value for FIFA point return is probably going to go down. You'll see every single pro open their points as soon as they possibly can because you get all these random gold cards, you get the position modifiers, the chemistry styles. They all sell pretty well. But as the game goes on, they're going to become less valuable. The only part where that isn't the case is for stuff that's going to be used for weekend league. So if you've got good chemistry styles, we're talking shadows, anchors, hunters. And if you've got position modifiers as well, they are very valuable this year. And my advice would be to sell them just before Weekend League starts. The meta players in the world do continue to rise until Weekend League. We've seen it with Erling Haaland. He was about 150k last week. He's now at 350k. But for the rest of it, I would say open your points and gutter out your club as soon as you possibly can. Now, the second thing I do on FIFA 23 is then pick up my team. Because I know in my team, I'm going to be using a lot of the meta players, a lot of the players that rise. I buy all my best players as soon as possible. The likes of Kylian Mbappe or the like of a Neymar, they are definitely, definitely going to continue to rise until the weekend league and probably further on than that because when people get coins in the game, they're going to want the likes of Kylian Mbappe and Neymar. So they are going to keep rising. So for me, as soon as I've got it out of the club, I get all the best players I possibly can. There is going to be a squad builder on my channel very, very soon showing my pro team going into weekend league. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to be seeing that kind of thing. Now, the third thing I do is actually watch other pros play the game you probably think that i'm just gonna go on the game and start smashing it out but for me i like to watch a lot of the other pros early on and see what's working at the top level a lot of pros tend to speed run their way up to the rivals as soon as possible to get themselves in the elite division and i like taking a seat back i like watching what they're doing there is a lot of good players out there that you can pick up from i've been watching the likes of tex i've been watching gorilla i've been watching dull and mike and loads and loads of other pros that have been picking the game up now watching pros is beneficial because you will see the formations they're using Using, tactics they're using, patterns of play and attack, the way they're defending. There's so many different things. They're also going to be testing out all the new skills and all the new features. So you start to see what's effective and what's not. And I've definitely picked up a few things that I now know when I'm going to play the game that I need to be using them. Now, the full thing I do is start playing the game and start experimenting with all these new features and skill moves. Because normally every single year, whatever EA add to the game, some parts of it are going to be broken. There's a reason they've added them to the game. So when I jump on, I'll be testing out all the new features. I've been doing the power shots, the Travella shots, the hill to ball roll. There's so many different skill moves that they've added into the game. I can't list all of them, but I would say definitely, definitely try them. If you can find some of the tutorials that people have been put out there, it is definitely, definitely worth just spending your time trying that. I also test things that are effective from the year before as well. In FIFA 22, we know that the extra pass really works. So test that out, see if it's good again. We know that the La Croqueta pass worked well last year. So it's kind of like just testing loads and loads of things and the main thing is not to play to win i understand we all want to go in the game we want to win every single game we want to have 100 and 0 we want to be able to flex to everyone but sometimes it's better to lose when trying things out than just win the game by playing safe and playing boring because you're not really learning from it i always have to take a few crap losses at the start of a fifa and you just know that you're picking things up and long term they're worth taking the loss for and the 
fifth thing I do is what I call smashing the game out. Now, this is as simple as just playing loads and loads and loads of games because muscle memory is really, really key. You can know what to do in the game. You can watch all the clips you want. You can see whatever. But at the end of the day, you just need to play the game to be able to learn it, be able to get used to being doing things over and over and over again. For example, if you're learning time finishing, that's not going to happen within two or three games. It's going to start being easier and easier after 30 or 40 games. It's the same for skill moves. I am absolutely terrible at skill moves when I jump on FIFA. But if I do the skill move 40 or 50 times in games, I start picking it up, I start learning it, and then it becomes second nature. It's one thing you will see with all pros. They'll do skill moves, they'll do certain little movements, and they don't even realize they're doing it because it's just built in muscle memory because they've played so much of the game. They've obviously watched the game to know what to put into their own game, and then you reap the rewards from there. So what I'd say is obviously go in prepared, try and learn about the game, try and see what's going on. I mean, if you go on TikTok, you go on YouTube, you will see loads and loads of stuff about FIFA right now. So get into them games, just start playing and playing and playing, learning all the new features. It will take time, but you're going to come out of it the other side a better, better player. Now, these are the five things that I've done since FIFA 23 has come out. I'm currently in the stage of smashing out rivals and draft every single day, just trying to learn the game and get better at it. I hope you've picked up a few tips from this as well. Also, let me know in the comments what tutorials you're going to see, because obviously, as I learn the game, I'm going to pass that knowledge on. I'm going to be doing a lot of tutorials this year. So if there's anything specific you want to see, pop it down in the comments. Let me know, and I'll see you all on the next video.